Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, NAB Show 2016, show floor. Still hanging out at the Aperture booth. I always Dude, love hanging out here. You guys got a lot got... of stuff to show. So we've gone through a few things, but you guys uh, have a few things remaining. So why don't you tell me a few of the other products that you guys have here at the booth? You bet. So a couple things we got here. We've got our DC Lens Regain. People have been waiting forever for it. I know, I'm sorry, it took some time. We didn't want to release it until we knew it was perfect. So this is like the DEC that we talked about last year that we did a video on that allows you to control uh, yeah. your lenses wirelessly. Um, and then, so that you can basically yeah. change your focus, but you've added a glass element similar to Indeed. a speed booster. Indeed, so we got a focal reducer in here now. 0.75 magnification, gives you that extra stop of light, similar to a Metabone speed booster. Perfect. Um, so basically, what this adapter does, for people that don't know what the DEC is, this adapter is actually a wireless follow focus, it's an aperture adjuster, and now it's also a focal reducer as well. It's awesome. All the pieces in one, and it's priced at 589, which is underneath just a regular adapter. That's, that's underneath any other wireless system you're going to find. Indeed, indeed. At yeah. all. And you don't have giant motors, motors and all that stuff. It's amazing. We, we saw it last year and loved it. Last year, you you promised that the, that you know the addition of a, a glass element was coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't think anybody has anything to be mad at you about. You delivered. It's yeah, here, so. it's finally here. Uh, real quick, too, for the people that have the DEC before, there are a couple changes. We finally added, we got asked for it, a thread on the bottom, so now you can actually mount it. Okay. Total aluminum metal body build, which means it'll support the entire camera system when you mount it on it. Mm -hmm. And people asked about this design, and they were confused on why the electronics were on the side. And the reason is because sometimes the DEC will get in the way of your rig. Mm -hmm. And now by detaching this part here, now you can add a connector between these two, and you can mount this anywhere. So you can have an extension Limo cable and place yep. it wherever. That's... You can mount this on a hot shoe. If you have a cheese plate, you can mount it anywhere now. So it's finally out the DC lens regain. Nice. Couple other things real quick. VS5, you guys saw it last year. Yep. It's still coming. Waveform vector scope. It's an affordable SDI monitor that's finally coming to the market. We have two models coming out, um, but we will come to that later. <laughs> so basically, we looked at all the specs of that last year. It looks yes, awesome, uh, but you guys have actually upgraded Added the screen. It. The correct? screen is now a 1920 by 1200 resolution screen. That's over 1080p. We have additional space there for uh, false color, for your false color legend, for your uh, shortcuts. So uh, you can have your, yep. your your monitors and your scopes and stuff, and Absolutely. you're not cutting into or overlaying your image. And it's priced at 499, which is far underneath, of course, anything else. Yeah, it in is. The SDI monitor. Well. All right, we'll be looking forward to that guy too. Last thing, to, last two things to show real quick here. So this one is a really exciting product here. Ah, uh, yes. This up for you. I'm gonna unplug More that. lights. More lights, real quick. This one's not gonna be out for a while, but. Um, so an early, early sneak peek on this guy here. Early, early sneak peek. Uh, a little Iron Man light here. <laughs> Newest little kit in the Lightstorm series. This is the Lightstorm C20. So what this is, is gonna give you, it's gonna give you the output of a 120 watt LED. Um, really, really bright, but with these felt barn doors here, yeah. you get a total cut here, single source LED, similar to the Cobb 120. So if I close this up for you. So here you go, you can, you can, you can, put, get, like, you can put like a strike of light across my that. arm. So right here I can get literally just the arm and I can close completely and get total control. And you can see those hard lines there. The hard lines, if you wanna do that noir look, you wanna do that laser uh, straight <laughs> line look, you know? God, that looks, match my eyes, that you know? looks painful. <laughs> Dedicated man right here. <laughs> um, this right here too has a flood and spot. You can see it here, there's metering. So it, it shows the meter what your degree angle is here yes, and you indeed. can change that, that's awesome. So you awesome. can see your beam angle change from 80 degrees all the way to 20. All the you way get to that 20. Total gradation here on the side. And on the side here, you've got your power. So you can dim from 100 to... And you've got that nice degrees. lit up uh, monitor or scale there as yep. well to see your power. So the color temperature for this actually, this actually has gel slots here. Um, they can be changed from, it starts at a 7,000 degree Kelvin temperature. Okay. Um, you can put it in, if you put any of these slots in, they're four inch, sorry, four inch by four inch little ND filters basically. Yeah. Um, you put these in, these will change the color temperature from to 3,200, 5,500, and we'll sell more gradations too, so you can change this to anything. So I know this is really, really early prototype. Do yeah. you have an idea of when you're going to be rolling one out? We're looking like September. And okay, that's not bad at all. For uh, 199. Nice. And we'll sell three kit for about 600. Those will go great as uh, you know an accompaniment to either all the other lights that you've announced or already yeah. have, or even just as a standalone. Because we'll, um, the the one thing we have to yes. talk about, you showed me this, mm -hmm. the power it takes to run this guy. 
Yeah. So the power it takes to run this guy, it runs on DC. It can do five volts to 18 volt, which means- Five volts is the big important part there. Five volt is very important, which means you could literally take a cell phone little Mophie thing, plug that sucker in and you can run your, you can just Velcro it on top and you can have a light that walks around on five volt USB. That's perfect. I mean, who doesn't have uh, a, a cell little, phone, a, a little cell phone charger. charger things or something in your bag? Yeah. yeah. A little bit of Velcro, stick it on this thing. You have a, a battery Absolutely. powered- 18 Powerful volt light. means you can plug it into your V-Lock battery and that'll give you power for days. It's a huge range of Absolutely. power. Absolutely. Well, very cool. Thank you very much, as always said, for showing me everything you guys got going on here at the you booth. Bet. Guys, be looking forward to all this stuff coming out from Aperture soon. They got a lot of great stuff and there's a lot more great stuff coming for you on the NAB show floor. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.